Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Garuda 105 Go Anywhere Gun is 105mm 37 caliber mobile weapon system with 360 degree firing capability. It is indigenously designed and developed by Kalyani Strategic Systems Limited KSSL. It is truly Go Anywhere Gun as it is an ultra light lightweight mobile gun system weighing under 5.5 ton. However, the weight of just the gun is less than a ton. It can be mounted on a Tata 4x4 wheel chassis. In Defense Expo 2014, it was shown even mounted on a Humvee. It is a highly adaptable platform that can be fitted on any in-service vehicle. While a normal 105 gun is 3200 kilos, Garuda is just 900 kgs. Garuda 105 utilizes the high-end soft required technology. The soft required technology provides reduced carriage loads allowing carriage structures to be up to 50% lighter than conventional recoil system. This allows the weapon to be placed on light vehicles and non-standard platforms including aircraft and coastal and river patrol watercraft. The Garuda will be superior alternative to existing weapon systems such as 106mm recoilless rifle, 120mm mortar and other 105mm artillery systems due to its low cost precision strike capability. This high tech system which was developed and manufactured in a record time of 8 months is a force multiplier for the forward forces and will prove to be a complete game changer in the realm of weapon system. At many places you might hear it's the game changer, but why? Let me tell you that. It's because of its shoot and scout capability. While the existing mountain guns 105 IFG have an excellent range and will obviously remain in service for a long time, but they need to be dug in after being towed into place making them sitting duck for artillery locating radars. Garuda, which does not have such limitation, can be rapidly deployed and brought into action giving opposing fire no time to zero in. The features like quicker emplacement, onboard fire control panel, electrically controlled elevation and traverse will give Indian edge in the mounted warfare against its adversaries. The Kalyani Garuda 105 light gun is based on Mandus Hawkeye. The vehicle and the guns are OFPs, only the recoil system is of Kalyani. The simplicity of the system's design reduces crew size and decreases maintenance times. The gun can be operated by a crew of four and can be prepared for firing in less than two minutes. The 105M gun can fire high explosive illumination rounds, rocket assisted projectiles, high explosives performed fragmented rounds and smoke cartridges. The gun system offers a range of 11.6 km with standard ammunition and 19.5 km with rocket assisted projectiles. It ensures a maximum range of 2000 meter with direct fire rounds. The maximum rate of fire is 8 rounds in a minute for 3 minutes, while sustained rate of fire of the gun is 3 rounds in a minute. Garuda's digital fire control system integrates an internal navigation system, a muzzle velocity radar, a direct fire camera system, a GPS antenna and a display unit. It also features an optical fire control unit equipped with telescope mount carrying a panoramic telescope. Indian Army has already carried out trials of this gun and many foreign countries have shown interest. The gun has also undergone trials in United States. Last year in February, Kalyani Group has sent two of its guns for trials to Saudi Arabia as per their requirement. The guns include our Bharat 52, F-155mm 52 caliber, Toad Howitzer and Garuda V2. Kalyani now has all type of guns needed for Indian Army. They have low weight, higher cost and higher weight, lower cost offerings 
and waiting for orders from our Indian Army. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.